Infectious diseases may start overseas, but with more international travel these days, are folks on the Sun Coast more in danger of getting sick? As an end, John Woodruff joins us with concerns over the spread of certain illnesses by people going to the Middle East and Africa. John. Well, Amber, many diseases like polio and measles were thought to be a thing of the past in the U.S., but in many other parts of the world, that isn't the case, causing the World Health Organization to take some drastic measures. The Director General has declared the international spread of wild polio virus to date in 2014 a public health emergency. The last polio epidemic in the United States was in 1949. Infectious disease specialist Dr. Mark Asparilla says polio prevention policies are strong in the Western world, but the virus is still spreading through developing nations. They have a hard time implementing the, the policy, like example the outbreak in Pakistan, uh, that's part of the government program which is uh, weak, but the implementation is very, you know, is very weak. Polio outbreaks have been reported across Asia, Africa, and the Middle East. And it's not the only infectious disease spreading. Measles and whooping cough are also on the rise. The majority of cases appear to be coming in from outside of the United States. Dr. Vilma Vega says there are 50,000 cases of pertussis in the United States. She says travel, coupled with people refusing vaccinations, causes the spread of disease. But staying up to date on your shots is also critical. We have vaccinated the, a lot of people many, many years ago. But unfortunately, some of these vaccines wear off. Dr. Asparilla warns that it isn't just these older diseases that pose international risk. The MERS virus originated in the Middle East and saw its first documented case in the U.S. this week. It's a coronavirus similar to the SARS, the first class of SARS epidemic we have in the early 2000s. There's over 401 cases so far reported and the mortality rate, the chance of dying is over 30 percent. Giving doctors one more reason to keep an eye to the skies. Doctors suggest before any trip abroad you go to a travel clinic because there they'll be able to tell you what vaccinations you'll need and what things to avoid during your trip. Very important things. Thanks, Don.